What's up, you wonderful people on YouTube? Today I want to talk about what other YouTubers are not telling you about learning to code. There's so many videos out there where everybody's like, in three months, I got this job, or check out the day in life of a developer where they show all this cool stuff that they're doing. But the truth is, don't believe the hype. Becoming a developer is a really hard task, especially doing in a reasonable amount of time. If you watched my channel, you would know that it took me almost three and a half years to switch careers. I actually started learning to code. I was around 35 years old. I I didn't get my first job until I was 39. I'm not saying this is going to take you this long to get there, but I'm just saying that it is a process. And the most important thing you could do is set realistic expectations about getting hired, learning to code. And the truth is, it is hard. It's going to take a lot of time and commitment. And the most important thing you need to understand is that if you can't build things, you're not going to get hired. So if you stalked in tutorial hell, you're doing tutorials, you're constantly holding them and using them as a crutch, you complete it, or maybe you didn't complete like a thousand courses on Udemy. Um, I have a lot, probably over 800 courses that I bought. I maybe completed maybe 10. And the truth of a matter is that you need to understand that in order to get hired, you will need to put the work. Learning to code is going to be difficult. It's going to be a struggle. It's not going to take you three months. I'm not saying there haven't been 0.0001% that has accomplished, but it might take you a year, year and a half, or two years to get your first job. And I just want to say that and put that out there is that I want everybody who is looking to change careers or learning to code really understand the reality. And the fact that you even learn to code doesn't mean that you're going to get hired right away because getting a job, going to interviews, being active in communities, making connections. You also need to have all that stuff down in order to have opportunities that come up that you could take and follow up on because blindly sending your resume is just not going to work. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to tell you that don't give up on your dream, but please, please set realistic expectations, have goals, understand what you want to do, have a roadmap that you want to follow. The most important part, don't try to jump on bandwagon and stuff like, I need to learn everything. Have a focus. Like what I tell people, if you want to get hired, number one, set goals for yourself and have a roadmap. Don't deviate. Don't try to reinvent the wheel by saying there's a shortcut. There is no shortcuts. If I have to tell you something, there is no shortcuts. You have to put in the work. And I want to share with you here, look at uh, my GitHub repo. Yeah, I'm a little bit active. I'm trying to contribute and work really hard. And some of these projects are stupid, right? But what I want to show you, the most important part, I started my GitHub in 2013. I was trying to be serious about getting started. 2014, not putting any effort. 2015, you know, not doing anything. 2016, still nothing, right? So don't waste time. 2017, oh, whatever, it happens. 2018, okay, making progress. I'm going through some tutorials. You know, 2019, way better. 2020, 20, okay. 2021, okay, doing really good. 2022, killing it. 2023, I'm killing it. And the whole point is what I'm trying to say. This is not coming from the fact that I'm doing tutorials. It's coming from the fact that I'm actively trying to build projects. And so my last tip for you here, force yourself to stop doing tutorials. If you passed five tutorials, you did too many. You did too many. You need to start building. You need to start working and going through the process of the struggle when learning to code. And you do that by building projects. I'm like moving the table here. I'm shaking around because this is a really important point. And the last thing that I want to tell you is there's many way, like approaches. That's why I can't do it in all video to give you the secret because the secret is the work that you do. That's the secret to getting hired. Some people are going to dislike this video because they're like, you didn't really give us anything. I told you, number one, coding takes a long time. Number two, outside of just sending your resumes, you need to be in communities. You have to get out there. You have to do the things of that developers do. And the most important part, you need to be building projects from scratch. That actually would be the one takeaway. Build projects from scratch because that's the most important thing you could do because that's what's going to give you the experience to do well on 
interviews because you know what you're talking about and it takes time. So if you've been in the game for three months and it's not working out, you're fine. It takes more time. If you've been in the game for six months and you still can't get a job, it's fine. It takes time. It took me three and a half years to get where I am. And now I've been enjoying the ability of working. I'm now in my fourth role in development, which is amazing, but it did take time. And this is one thing that I want to stress. And that is the truth. You will only get to where you want to go by by knowing how to build things. That, there is no shortcuts. If you thought this video is gonna give you a shortcut, it's do the work, do that work consistently over time, network, go to meetups, build friends, give presentations at meetups of what you're learning, and then eventually you get there. And if this was not motivating to you, I think, I, I don't know what to tell you because you should be happy that as a developer, it's a challenging career to get into because the benefits and the income you're going to make is pretty good. And I'm not going to lie to you. I started late in the game. I am happy where I am. I'm making a uh, six-figure income, which is amazing. Is it going to last forever? I don't know. I could get fired tomorrow. But the point is I went in a span of four years. My first job as a developer, I was, <laughs> I don't know what was happening. I was getting paid $13.75 an hour. And then I'm now where I am, I'm making over six figures. And so the not saying here to boast, but you could watch my channel, go through all my old videos. I started as a random dude on the internet who didn't know what I'm doing. I still feel like I don't know what I'm doing, but I got better. And I got better through this process of just doing something every day to move my goal forward. And instead of kind of trying to spend my time kind of figuring things out, which I did, tried to spend time. I wasted a lot of time, to be honest. I think I could have got to my first job within two and a half years. Uh, I just didn't have a roadmap. I didn't have a mission. I didn't realize that it's all about doing the work, right? So do the work, show up every day, and you'll get there. If you have any comments, likes, or hate, you could let me know in this video, but I'm just being straight up honest with you. I have nothing to sell. I don't have any courses to give you. I don't ever want to sell courses. All the educational content I do, I just give for free. There's two ways I want to make money. One at my job. And the second way is by creating a SaaS product that generates income. I don't want to make money off YouTube. I don't want to make money off courses because I'm a developer. I'm not a YouTuber and I want to keep it that way. And so that's my tip for you. A hot take, if you will. Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe I'm completely crazy but this has been my journey. You're welcome to your journey. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.